Spotify, ticker symbol SPOT, S-P-O-T, will be reporting earnings in two days. That's July 25 before market. So actually tomorrow, July 24, would be the last day to trade since it'll be reporting in the morning of the 25th. So in this video, we're going to explain why we are a little concerned about Spotify stock, um, why we think it may be going down based on unusual options activity that we detected on July 21, the last trading day, Friday. Okay, so let's get right to it. This was for the July 28th. This is the closest nearest expiration date uh, for earnings, uh, which is the end of um, the coming week. You could see here the 160 strike puts. There were 4,828 volume on Friday. Okay. And so um, if we were to analyze this a little bit more, you could see um, that this put option here is essentially bearish because as the price of Spotify goes down on the x-axis you'll see that this profit increases the curve increases profits so this is a short position but if it goes up it will be a loss that'll be under the zero line here the Greeks negative 27 so Anything negative is a bearish position, okay? So that is uh, why we're concerned about this 160 strike put here. You can see that the 160 here is level is actually a previous consolidation level where Spotify was trading for some days here in the um, past last month in June, um, especially. The end of June okay from June 15 here all the way to um, the beginning of Ju July July 11 when it finally broke out right but we could come back down after earnings okay and so that drop would be about um, about a 7% drop to that um, level um, but it could be drop even more um, um, we'll have to see what happens um, because anything can happen for earnings, right? And uh, so that's why we are a little concerned about the stock not necessarily doing well um, going up again um, if you are long. Um, but again, this could also be a hedge, right? This could be a hedge. Somebody that put on those 4000 uh, put options could actually have um, stock positions, right? Like this here, right? When you analyze this stock position with the put options, um, 100 stock shares for every one option, um, you can see that, um, well, the 100 should be on the stock side right you can see that this is still uh, bullish right if they had a if they have own like stocks as well in their portfolio and they just wanted to buy the put options uh, because they were worried right so they are still bullish but they just don't want necessarily want to lose as much if spotify goes down you can see that if spotify goes down their loss is max capped here. This line here essentially caps their loss here at this level here. So this doesn't, so their loss is right here only at a negative 1,599. So if it, per share, we're just, we're right now talking about just 100 shares for every one option. Keep in mind, they did not have just one option. It was 4,000. So that's a lot of uh, uh, value here and not just 1,500. You have to multiply that 1,599 by 4,000 essentially. Um, 
which would be um, closer to what they were paying, right? Um, so for example, this 430 is the cost of these put options. If we estimate that with 4,000 options, that's $1.7 million here, right? So they were willing to pay that much as essentially an insurance policy to protect themselves from this earnings um, drawdown in case it went down, right? So um, they were willing to pay that to also limit their potential because you can see that if the stock does go up, they won't make as much as if they did not buy this insurance, right? So you could see that, let's say Spotify goes to 180, right? The profit on just one trade, let's say, is um, about 645 here at 180. But if we did not buy the put options and just had the stock, you could see that the profit is $832. So that's a lot more than the 645, right? Because they had to buy these put options, right? So um, the fact that they were willing to limit their upside profit to protect their downside loss is something also to take into consideration as to why they were doing this um, right before earnings. Okay, could they have known something um, based on their research? Right, um, this is millions of dollars of research that they're doing right to um, decide whether or not they should buy these put options um, so something to consider all right so um, yeah if that is uh, something you enjoyed this video please smash that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't um, and uh, hit the bell icon if you want to be updated on future unusual options activity um, we also provide unusual options activity analysis on other stocks as well um, that have higher probability of accuracy in the stock price movements for our members only. Um, so click the join button on our channel homepage to learn more on how to get in on these exclusive videos. That helps diversify your portfolio, which reduces your risk and increases your chance of profitability. Thank you and take care, everybody.